Hello and welcome to this webinar. I'm Gunilla Redande working for Crayon and today I'm going to show you automatic recode in IBM SPSS statistics. This is a data preparation command and I'm using transform menu for that. Many years ago I worked with our market department and they got Excel files that should be open into SPSS statistics. But my colleague, he always got a lot of string variables and string variables is the same as text answers instead of number codes. But he wanted to get these string variables as numeric instead. So when I showed him that there is a command to use that automatically converted them to numeric, he said that this command was the best in SPSS statistics because it saved his time. So I will show you this. I will change this string variable that is called over time. And you see that there is a symbol in the top. There is three circles and a little a, and a stands for alphanumeric. It's because the answers are just in text format, yes or no. But I would like to convert this to numbers because it's easier to work with numbers, for example, when you do select cases command. And also some of the statistics commands is only possible to do on numerical variables and not string variables. The good with this command is also that you will keep all the text answers yes and no as value labels like this. And then I will show how to do automatic recode of string variables. So I will go to IBM SPSS statistics. Here you can see my variable over time that has only text. If I turn off the value labels like this, you can see that we have yes and no text answers. I go to the transform menu and choose automatic recode. Then I choose the string variable. You see the little a and put it in by clicking on this arrow. I type in the new name over time two and click on add new name. Then I choose the code order I want. You can see lowest value or highest value. I choose the first one, the lowest. So it's going from A, B, C in the alphabet. So no will get the code one and yes will get the code two in this example. Also, you can define if empty answers should be handled as missing value. And that's something that I recommend. Click there and then OK. I get to summarize here in the output. If we go to the data window, we can see the new variable here. And it's really the same as this one. But there is one difference. If we turn off the value labels, we can see that we have numbers here and we have still text here. And if we go to the variable view, we can see here that we have value labels here automatically, no and yes. Code one, no, code two, yes. So let's repeat this in PowerPoint. I first use the command transform and automatic recode. Then I chose the string variable over time. I wrote in a new name over time too. Then I clicked on add new name. And if you know that you have empty or blank cells, then you can treat it as missing value by clicking there. Thank you for watching this web demo and welcome back.